folks, welcome back to another episode of Ocean State Aquatics TV today. I am your host, Freshwater Joe, and we're going to be diving all the way into the western Indo-Pacific areas of Sumatra and Borneo. We're going to find this little, charismatic, colorful little fish, or larger fish for that matter, that we're going to talk about today. We are talking about the clown loach. Let's dive in. The clown loach, more specifically, scientifically described as Chromio botia, Macrocanthus. These are actually in the family of Botiidae, but they are uniquely the only one in their genus in Chromio botia, which is really unique. The Latin of their genus roughly translates to large, thorned, colorful warrior. How cool is that? The clown loach, everybody is very familiar with its charismatic, beautiful, colorful pattern of that striped black and yellow with the immensely orange in color of those fins. They are just absolutely fantastic. Everybody loves them. We're just going to go through and talk about little facts of these beautiful fish today and maybe enlighten you on the truth and the actual size and, and just a little bit more about the clown lunch and hopefully you leave today's video with uh, some new knowledge on this specific species. The clown loach, there's actually a lot of uh, discrepancies. We'll talk about its max size. Some literature says that they can only be like five to seven inches. And then most literature says that they're gonna be seven to 11 inches. And to my knowledge, I have definitely seen some larger ones. Typically in the aquarium hobby, you're gonna find them at their max size around probably eight to nine, maybe 10 inches. Uh, but it takes a really long time for them to really develop into that size. But being said, they do have the potential to reach that one foot in length and they should not be kept in a very small aquarium. These guys definitely should be in a larger volume of water for sure to definitely get them to that big, bosterous, awesome size of at least seven to eight inches. And they're just gonna look absolutely awesome. So that's a little bit of uh, information on their size. They're not gonna stay cute and tiny when you see in the store really itty bitty small like that. And we actually have a few members in this back aquarium that we're gonna get some B-roll of afterwards that are hitting probably that four to five inch mark right now. So just an absolutely fantastic, longer streamlined, big bottom dweller that's just gonna give you that great activity of color and look like this awesome warrior in your aquarium. <laughs> Another cool little fun fact about the loaches, or most of the botia day, uh, they actually have these little movable spines on uh, the base of their nasal cavity on the side of their mouth that protrude out and they can move them when they're in a stressful situation as protection. Also, they uh, believe that it's used as a, a method of predation um, to actually catch and capture little scuds or prey or things like that because of the general vicinity to the mouth parts, which is really unique if any of you that are familiar with some type of the botillas or have some at home or even have some clown loaches, you may have perhaps maybe gotten spiked by their little spine on the side of their face as they are kind of scared or threatened when you're moving them into the aquarium after you purchase them or whatever. For those that have not gotten jabbed yet or those that already have, it's not a venomous spine like some quarry cats and things like that. So completely harmless to you other than that it hurts really, really, really bad. Don't recommend. <laughs> so you never really see them actively using it in the aquarium that I've ever seen but uh, definitely when you pick them up and upset them a little bit, they definitely jart those little spines out and they are sure sharp, for sure. The last but not least little cool fishy fact about the clown loaches here. I don't know if any of you have ever taken a dive into your aquarium and actually listened to them at all or have ever heard clicking noise that comes from the loaches ever when you're handling them out of the aquarium or anything, but scientists have uh, studied this and used microphones that can be put on their water to listen to this. And they've mapped behavior that uh, suggests that the clicking noises that the uh, clown loaches produce from their pharyngeal jaws in the back of their throat there, they grind them together, create this clicking noise, it can be used for aggression, uh, for mating, hunting or prey, or communicating in some way, or when they're just happy. They make clicking noises. It's pretty cool, pretty neat that they use those 
uh, teeth in the back with those jaws to create those clicking noises to probably possibly communicate with each other or warn off predators or each other for territory battles, etc. Really unique, really charismatic. I don't really have to say much else about them. They are just absolutely fantastic. We have a whole bunch of them in stock right now. Uh, these about that uh, three to three and a half inch size. And there's some larger specimens we have over here, which we'll get you some footage of. So yeah, the Clown Loach, very easy in a sense to care for. Uh, as far as water parameters go, they will enjoy a little bit more of an acidic uh, to neutral pH. 6.5 to 7.5 is probably ideal for them, but you don't have to go crazy with them. They are very hardy. They obviously, they're a loach, so they are a scaleless fish. Uh, so they can be sensitive to higher amounts of dissolved solids. So keeping the water softer, not using aquarium salts in heavy amounts uh, and using only medications that do not affect scaleless fish. So definitely no copper or anything like that that can be a little harsh. Otherwise, these fish, when they are settled in and happy, they make great little cleanup crews because they're going to be mowing along through the crevices and cracks in your rock work and through your substrate and just kind of picking up any leftovers that they find and hunting down any little micro crustaceans or anything like that, that that may be developing in your aquarium as it seasons and continues to grow. So great fish for you if you have an aquarium of probably 90 gallons or larger. Uh, 90 would be the smallest I would go with maybe a group of three of these, but definitely if you have a really big aquarium, 150 gallons or larger, get a group of six of these fantastic members of the Botide and you won't be disappointed. You're gonna love them. They're gonna come out when you throw food in there and they're gonna hunt around like these little warriors that they're described as and you're gonna absolutely love them. I hope you folks enjoyed another episode today on Ocean Aquatics TV with uh, Mullet Man over here. We will see you in the next one. As always folks, you know what's coming next. Keep it fresh, baby.